Okay. I hope that you brought your imaginary friends for this one because I definitely did. Um, complex numbers, look at this, 3 plus 7i. It's got like a regular normal number that we're used to. And then the 7i is the imaginary part. So it's a little different than like 3 plus 7x because x is an actual variable that stands for an actual real number. So that would usually go at the front. But the imaginary numbers always get tacked on to the back here. So we have to find the values of x and y that make the equation 3x minus 5i equals 6 minus 10yi true. What? So check it out. The real parts, we have 3x, we have a regular number 6, and then we have the imaginary parts with the i's. We have negative 5i and negative 10yi. So we just solve for the x's. We solve for the i's, which have the y's, and then we're going to get two answers here. So the real parts, 3x equals 6, that's not even that complicated to solve. We just divide by 3, and we get x equals 2. Easy peasy squeezy lemons. For the imaginary parts, we can leave off the i, but we'd have negative 5 equals negative 10y. This is just for the imaginary parts. So that if we divide by negative 10, negative over negative cancels out positive 5 tenths would reduce to 1 half. So this is your y. So you set the real parts equal to each other. You set the imaginary parts equal to each other, but you can leave off the i for the imaginary parts. And you just solve them both. So try out these two. I'm going to do them right now, but uh, pause it and actually try them out yourself.